Welcome to Monday's Assembly. It's always good to see you here today. This is a big week in lots and lots of ways, but before we begin and before I tell you what the challenge is, let's look at what our quote of the week, our precept of the week is. When you practice gratefulness, there is a sense of respect towards others. When you're grateful, when you're thankful for the things that you have and that are around you, it shows respect that there are other people who help to make those things happen, to make those things be there. So being thankful for what we have around us helps us to respect the people that we have around us as well. So that sets us up nicely for this week's challenge. This week's challenge is about gratitude and we're going to be doing a scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt for gratitude. Here's what it looks like. Our gratitude scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt is a bit like a treasure hunt. So this is our map to getting treasure. Number one, find something that makes you happy. Two, find something to give to someone else to make them smile. Three, find one thing you love to smell. Four, find one thing you enjoy looking at. Five, find something that's your favorite color. Six, Find something that you are thankful for in nature. Seven, find something that you can use to make something for someone else. And last but not least, eight, find something that is useful for you. So we have some amazing things to find for our gratitude scavenger hunt. Where will you look for them? So, a gratitude scavenger hunt. Now, when you've done your scavenger hunt, make sure you collect all the items together and take a picture of it. Make sure you send that picture either to your teacher at their email address or post it on Twitter. And the hashtag for this week's challenge is hashtag NPS gratitude. Now, don't forget, we also are taking part in the 30 days wild challenge. There's only a few days left in June for this to take part, but please continue to post all the fantastic things you've been doing for that challenge on Twitter or sending it to your class teacher as well. Now, this is a very important week or a special week because this is the last week that your class teacher will be doing the online lessons on ringing your home. Starting next week, your new teacher will be the person who will be providing your transition lessons, really exciting lessons for the last two weeks of school so you get to know her and you get to know she gets to know you as well. This week, starting today, we're going to be beginning to mail out the school reports. And the school reports have on them the front letter. And on that, it says who your teacher is going to be for next year. Make sure you have a look for it. It may take until next Monday to get all of the reports out to everyone. But keep an eye out. It has a report from your teacher as well as who your next year's class teacher will be. Except for our year sixes. Oh, we're going to miss you so much, year six. You're going to be going on to your secondary classes, but we're so very proud of you, and we know that you're going to be just amazing. Okay, people, lots to do now. Let's get started and have a good week.